Hey there, Mary Sheila here from Biuth Labs, and I want to share more ways that you can support your cholesterol levels and lower them through your nutrition. And I want to talk today about plant sterols and stanols, which are naturally occurring compounds found in plant foods that can help lower cholesterol levels. Here's how they work and how you can find them naturally in your foods. So plant sterols and stanols have a similar structure to cholesterol, which allows them to compete with cholesterol for absorption in the intestines. So they're kind of this waxy like substance. When consumed, they can partially block the absorption of dietary cholesterol, preventing it from entering the bloodstream. By reducing the absorption of dietary cholesterol, plant sterols and stanols can lower the LDL cholesterol levels in the blood. Regular consumption of plant sterols and stanols have been shown to lower LDL cholesterol by about five to 15% when consumed in recommended amounts. Now, plant sterols and stanols are naturally present in small amounts in many plant-based foods. It can be challenging to obtain, so sometimes it's added to things. I don't really want to emphasize the things that it's added to because it's often added to things like margarine or juice, orange juice, and those really aren't food sources that we want to be consuming because margarine is made with seed oils that can be inflammatory and not good for cholesterol and overall health. And when we drink juice, that's also not a good thing for the liver either or the body. The liver makes cholesterol. If we drink juice, it beelines to the liver and high glycemic, lots of high carbs can contribute to higher cholesterol levels. So rather than talking about all the processed foods where those things are added, let's talk about where we can find them naturally in our foods. And honestly, naturally occurring plant sterols and stanols include fruits, vegetables, legumes, nuts, and whole grains. So the more variety you have of fruits, veggies, nuts, seeds, whole grains, legumes, you're gonna be getting those in your diet. And if you are regularly getting them and you increase the amount, if you aren't eating a whole lot of veggies and plants and things, you'll, you'll be able to see a bit of a lowering. And that's a reminder too, that it's never just one thing, right? It's never gonna just be, I mean, sometimes the medication can really affect it, but that's not getting to the root cause. So we need to change our diet. We need to move our body. We need to, lower our stress and you know stress can be even staying up too late can be stressful so we need to lower it on many levels we need to add a variety of you know nutrient dense antioxidant rich healthy foods and move and that all adds up but knowing that when we're eating these plants and getting the sterols and stanols that over time is competing with the cholesterol and helping to balance things out in the body so enjoy your plants eat well, eat right, and keep staying tuned to the videos, stay connected, learn new things that you can add into your life on a regular basis, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.